So this is a question from JD's side. Uh, it's written, prayer salat is likened to a stream of pure water. If you enter five times a day, you can remove spiritual impurity. How should women remain pure when they are unable to enter the stream due to their monthly periods? Because they are doing it in uh, view of Allah's uh, injunctions, during, also during that period they are in a state of prayer. Because worship, as described by Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu is a word which covers almost the entire activities of human life. And the whole uh, spectrum of human activities is covered by the word worship if you remain in a state of obedience and begin to do things or learn to do things for the sake of Allah. So if a person abstains from saying prayer or keeping fast or doing any other such part of worship for the sake of Allah, because Allah has so said, then that act of not doing also becomes a prayer. And such deities are pure. They remain pure. This concept of spiritual filthiness which is erroneously attached to that period which, to which the lady is referring is totally foreign to Islamic view. Islam does not endorse such views. The Holy Quran says, Hua Aza, Azan. That is a indisposition. It's not impurity at all. So during indisposition they are uh, told to not to say worship, first of all they are given this uh, permission for their own sake as well. And secondly, this is a state which needs not be described, everybody knows, that it doesn't uh, somehow go with the concept of worship, formal worship at least. But within their hearts they can continuously remember Allah, they can recite the Holy Quran, they can do other acts of piety, but they are not permitted to touch the Holy Quran with their bare hands because uh, uh, sometimes inadvertently there is a possibility of their uh, hands being, uh, you know, say, it's not soiled, but I mean, have, have the hands having touched uh, blood or things because uh, it's a constant state. So there are such possibilities. So for, to avoid uh, such accidents, they are not permitted to touch the Holy Quran during this, that period. But the recitation is permitted. Remembrance of Allah is permitted. Constantly they can be in a state of remembering Allah or saying prayers. So not, they are not barred from anything in spirit. Only the formality they are not permitted to do because, as I told, might be just for their own sake, for their disposition, and uh, also from the formality point of view, you cannot perform regular formal prayers without wuzu, without ablution. And in this state, it's impossible for you to have ablution. And a woman cannot have evolution while constantly the evolution is being broken. So if you take it just technically and form formally, then you, you are not in a state to say the prayer at all. But that does not bar you from remembering Allah and purifying your hearts. So nothing is uh, begrudged the ladies in this respect.